That's cool, isn't it? Which, well, what the? Things like that occasionally. I would say. Now, John, you you work here at I, Hamswell. I work here. I've been here 19 years. What? You had a week with Robert. I've had 19 years <laughs> with Robert. <laughs> I How could have committed yeah. a very serious crime and be living lovely, nice. <laughs> But anyway, I'm still here. So you, but, so you work here, but you're also a dealer here. Also a dealer. I've been a dealer for over 30 years. Good for you. I used to do, but it's one of them things you can't give up. No, you can't. You've got, you've, you can't. get into it. It gets into your blood and I've got yeah. a passion for it. Good. Which, it, some people don't seem to have a passion, but buy something, they'll sell it. They don't, I buy it because I love it. Yeah. So yeah. then you, you, you know, you don't want to sell it, but you, you know, you've got to sell it to buy something fresh. But that's good. And you learn from it too. That's it. You learn every day. What is your passion? I love Art Deco. Okay. Is this your stand? This is high? one of my stands. Okay. So this, we've got a bit of all sorts in here. Yeah. Um, so it's sort of arts and crafts, antique bits. Yeah. We've got sort of um, WMF. We've got studio pottery. Okay. Um, 18th, 19th century carved oak. Wow, okay, so quite a collection of, you know, quite a variation in yeah. actual fact. But yeah. you do like the arts. Yes. The art movements. Yeah, I, I like to buy either quality, yeah. rarity, or style. Okay, and all three, if you can get it. Well, yeah, that's it. And I must say, that probably has all three. That's that's really that was, good. That was actually it? given to me by my uncle. Right. It wasn't my type of thing, really. I think that's cool. Yeah. He's, he's had it since the sort of early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. What is it depicting? Is it a, a tiger? A tiger. I think that's really smart. Yeah. And no money, 75 quid. No. No. I mean, you know, find me another, yeah. John. But I brought right. this in today. Right. Put for sale. I've not seen one before. So Tell great. me about it. Well, it's a Victorian. Yeah. Great fire grate front. Yes. But you could use it as a doorstop. But what I like about it is... It's a house, it's a cottage. Yeah, it's so there's a cottage on it, yeah. just there. You turn it round and you've got the original um, ah. lozenge, the diamond lozenge. Okay, now have you put the, the homework in and dated it? I haven't. It's a little bit blurred because obviously it's had a fire in front of it. Okay. And then it's got the name of the maker as well, which I, I think probably a bit of research you could probably yeah. find out. There was one in from Leeds and Manchester that looked similar. Yeah but I've not actually found out where. But that's clever, isn't it? And this is the great thing about British-made yeah. goods in the 19th yeah. century. With, with some work, you, you, you're right, it's, it's yeah. not later 19th century, yeah. but you, yeah. you'll put it down to the exact yeah. year. Yeah, could do, yeah. Interesting thing. But I just thought, it's such a, I mean, it's got the design, it's got the yeah. style, isn't it? It's very stylish. I mean, yeah. it could even be a table piece these yeah. days. That's Why it. not? It could yeah. be a piece of art, couldn't it? Perfect. Wonderful. So you've, is this the only area you've got? So I've got this, but I've also got my Art Deco unit. Oh, specifically Art yes. Deco. Where is that? It's down here. You need to run. Oh, run. Well, not with this camera. <laughs> you can run. <laughs> so you can see me there and you can see me down here. Brilliant. Now, John, do you get a discount from Rob? No. Of no, course you more. don't. I pay more because you don't want me having this unit. <laughs> <laughs> I do it to annoy you. <laughs> Oh, right, so, talk to me. So I've not got a huge amount in at the moment because I do, the Claris yeah. sell really well. Of course A do. lot of it comes, I sell it even before I've uh, brought it in. Of course you do. Blue crocus, quite rare. You don't yeah. see the blue no. very often. Um, but yeah, this is sort of, I'm trying to buy a few more bits. I've got retro in there as well. Yeah. Bit of retro, nice um, uh, gramophone. That's cool, isn't it? Which I sell these quite well. I sold one to a record company and then you can put your dog on. Oh, the trouble is, I was going to point this out, you get things like this, nobody wants them anymore. Mm. So I don't know, what do you do with them? What you do you do sale, with them? You don't want to throw them, do you? No, no. So what you need to do, you need to just smash them. What the? So you've got to like smash things like that occasionally. I would say, let's take the head off. Um, yeah, I'd say what you do is leave this to the professionals. Right. Don't don't do this yourself. You might have a Ming vase. You won't. Most people have got Minging vases. Minging vases. They yes. haven't got Ming vases. But don't do it. Cause it might John. just be. But so leave it to the professionals to what to smash. Okay. But sometimes you just have to smash them. Just get them out. It just makes you feel. Good. Does it make you feel better? Yeah. Does yeah, it really? Yeah. And, and actually, you're doing the world a favour because uh, there's one less of those. There's figures, one less of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. is quite a good thing. Yeah. And also, it adds value to every other figure that's left in the world. And that's so you, that's well, this thing we like bottle collectors. Yes. You get it's the only one, and then you go to auction, and there's always smashed bottles everywhere. So we've still got the only one. Well, I really wasn't expecting that. 
<laughs> I'll have to surprise. And then, so I've got this. I'm, I'm not. I don't like the fact that this cabinet has been upcycled. Why not? But I'd like them to be original. Yeah, but it's it's reinventing it. It's reinventing and, it, but antiques I'm, are environmentally friendly, I'm, aren't they? I prefer it to be original, but it's basically just for displaying. Yeah, really. well, that so and that works very well. It looks the part. Um, now, yeah. is, there, is there anything else you're going to smash up? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. What I might do is say. I've got another silver piece now. It's five yeah. pounds. All right, and it's not sold yet. Maybe this time next weekend, yeah, I will smash that as well. Well, unless, maybe, well, maybe somebody, you should come back. Unless somebody comes and saves it <laughs> and buys that item at five pounds, it will be smashed next well, weekend. Should we hold it to ransom? We'll we put this do. video out. Yeah. If yeah. nobody buys it, you're going to smash it. You're going to smash it. Yeah. That's a great way of selling. Yeah. Well, I'm smashing time. <laughs> Sorry, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really good. But no, I've been dealing in Deco for a long time. I used to do the Deco fairs in London. Yeah. I used to do it when it was Greenwich, Kensington, Loughborough. That was it in my whole right. country. Right, yes. And it used to be a special occasion. Then um, fair organisers did one every week and it just spoiled it. Yeah. But, I, you know, I know a lot of the, the big Claris dealers, a lot of the, the Deco dealers. Yeah. Um, so a lot of things, it's just a matter of taking the photo, sending it to them and it's sold. Yeah, but as soon as I've got it. But you've got a really good market here, yeah, as yeah. well, haven't you? Yeah. Which is marvellous. Yeah. The online as well. Sometimes I don't sell as well, maybe here. Yeah. But online, I put everything online. On the Hemswell. On the Hemswell website. Yeah, yeah. And I do sell quite well on there. And finally, which is your favourite piece? My favourite. On this stand. On my stand, I would say, possibly the Clarice Bowl. It's not the best design, oh, like but it's design. the it's the it's the shape, the conical shape. Yes. That is gorgeous. What's up? 225 for a bit of Clarice Cliff. Yeah. Clarice Cliff is one of my all time heroines of the 20th century. She was a magnificent character. Oh, yeah. Very talented and very eccentric, too. Plus, you've got your Susie Cooper at the top there as yeah, well. Yeah, well, she was a contemporary, of course, of yeah. Clarice. Yeah. yeah. And that's very, very deco. Moon and Mountain. Yeah. Uh, I don't, did actually years ago, did actually years ago buy a lemonade set in the Moon and Mountain. It's Mark Gray's. And the auction room had put Grey's Pottery Lemonade set in the style of Clarice Cliff. Oh, very good. And it was in fact Susie Cooper. Oh my God. So there you yes. go. I don't always know everything. It, knowledge. Knowledge is power, John. And yeah. you've got knowledge and you've got great passion. And it's been a great privilege to meet you. Okay. No Thanks problem. a lot. You too. All right.